What's up guys, Thriggy back here with another Minecraft video, and today, I'm gonna teach you all how to build some Minecraft cars. And as you can see, I have a whole road in front of me, and that we're gonna be building our cars on, and most of these should be a 3x3, three three, well not 3x3, three three, but fit in a 3 block wide space, and now we can have proper roads going down our Minecraft world. And these are really going to spice up your builds, guys. So, you really want to stick to the end of this video. But before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Always get more awesome videos. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Now, for our first car, we're going to need honey blocks, a red stained glass pane, a sign of your choice, Black concrete, red concrete, light blue stained glass, red carpet, item frame, and last but not least, a stone. Well, four stone buttons. Now, we choose the spot where we want our car to be. And the, then we place black concrete where we want our wheels. Oh, usually around this area, maybe here. That usually does good. Next, I forgot an item, we're going to take some slabs, and we're going to take our slabs and just sort of run these around to make our car have sort of an underpinning almost, because the wheels never are just by themselves. Then we add some stone buttons to make the insides of our wheels as seen on a regular car. Then we take some red concrete and put it across the top and basically cover the whole thing in red concrete. Now we have the base of our car done. Next, we need to add headlights. So we're going to take two item frames and put on two honey blocks. And these make the headlights. Next, on the back, we're going to add our tail lights more item frames with the two red stained glass panes to add our tail lights. Then we're going to add our license plate. Oh, wait, that, that's not a license plate. Which is our sign. And we, this, this sort of spam click things. You know, numbers, stuff. Yeah, you get the idea. That's going to be your license plate. Then when you're up here, you take your light blue stained glass and build your um, windshield. Next, we put four red concrete on the back and cover the blue stained glass and car red carpet on top. And there you go. You have a very, I, I wouldn't say normal, but car. And in Minecraft, and the cool thing is, is the red concrete and the slab and the red carpet now the carpet does need to be the same color as the concrete for the main body of the car it is fully customizable guys so you can make this any color you want this is literally the best car in minecraft so for our next car that we are going to be making it's going to be a truck now we get like the last one we place down where we want our wheels to be and then we put on our stone buttons now, you could make this truck a dually truck. Um, some black concrete back here to add the extra wheels. But that gets a little complicated and hard to make. So, for the video, we're not going to be doing that. But, we place on our wheels. We put on our underpinning. And again, this is fu a fully customizable design. So, you can do things with it. And I'm going to make it a blue car. So we're going to put on all of our um, concrete, any color you want. Then we're going to put on our headlights. And then uh, we're going to put on our headlights. Yeah. And then we are going to put on our tail lights. Our license plate 
And you know what our license plate's gonna be today? Hashtag sub to Thricky. And you know what? You got a sub, guys. But next, we're going to add our windshield. And then we're going to put on this. And next, we kind of need to, like, make our truck bed here. And then we're going to put on our underpinning there. And if they had blue stairs, we can make this but better. But if it was a white car, what we would do is we'd put, like, our stairs here and around so we have a different thing. But if you're going to build blue, you have to do it like this, guys. But I'm going to show you the white example. This is what you would do for stairs. Any color that has stairs, it makes it a cleaner um, build. And what you might do with the truck is take off that and move this forward. And... It makes a very, very nice build. And with the blue, I realized that the closest thing we have is dark prismarine. So wait, to, for blue. So what you need to do is find a stair block closest to the color of your choice. Or you could use trapdoors to make our um, truck bed. And that's how we build the truck in Minecraft. So, for our next build... What we are going to be making is a motorbike. And unlike the past two where they've been pretty straightforward, this gets a little bit more complicated. So we have to pay a little bit better attention to get this right. So what we're going to need is grindstones, a stair, a slab, an anvil, and some end rod, and of course the item frame and stuff. So how we're going to get started is we're going to place one stair block, or a block like a scaffolding block, and make an upside down stair right there. Next we're going to take our grindstones and place one facing that way and make sure it's attached to the block like that. And then one like that. This can be replaced with a slab here in the middle depending on what you like more. It just really depends. But then what we're going to do build a slab out the back then we take our anvil place it on top if we could connect this it would be pretty good but we can't in minecraft so we have to kind of roll with it we put on our item frame and end rods onto the side to make our handlebars and then we take our headlight and put it in and then we take our item frame in the back and take our tail light and put it on whoops uh, and then we put it on so now we have a motorbike but like i said this is a little bit more complicated to make because these are just blocks this part of grindstones facing certain directions and if you were to build this in survival you would have to go to the end so yeah, a little bit more of a complicated one. So, for our next build, we're going to build a race car. And there are certain items that you are going to need. Again, it is going to be a bit more customizable, like the truck and car. But it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, for this build, we're going to need a black concrete, a stone button, a slab... A uh, glazed terracotta, if you want your car, like a race car to do, to be covered in stickers. Uh, st some stairs, light blue stained glass, blue carpet, and the item frames and stuff at, and signs to add the headlights and taillights. Now, like with the others, what we're going to do is we're going to add our wheels first. And... The wheels are basically the same thing with any Minecraft car. So, these are pretty easy to remember. And then we're going to put on our underpinning. The part that hangs down in between the wheels, like on the others. And then next, we're going to put on the glazed terracotta. 
Now, I know a lot of people say this is a really ugly block, but if you really want your car, race car, to look like it's all stickered up like race cars do, then you it's best that you find a glazed terracotta to use. Next, we put on our item frames. We then take our headlights and taillights and put them on. Now, you might want to, like, think about how you're going to do this because... I mean, the stickers on the car are not three-dimensional like regular headlights. They look more 2D. So we would take, like, our slab with, no, not our slab, our pane, and put this on like that to make it more look like a sticker. And the same goes with the red stained glass panes in the back. Next, we fill this in. Put on our blaze terracotta, and we're going to try and make this look aerodynamic. Then, we're going to add our spoiler with our stairs. We're going to add, build that out back there. We're going to take a slab of the color of your stair, put this on top, and put, on car put the carpet on, and look at that! You now have a race car with a spoiler on. And in fact, we can make this look a bit more aerodynamic by adding more slabs if you wanted to. And again, this is fully customizable. I like it better without those and slabs on top. But it's basically, we got to get the idea across that this is a race car. If you wanted to, you could put stairs on if you wanted to. And it kind of depends on your choice of glazed terracotta. But this is a fully customizable choice to you, but this is how we build a race car. For our final car of the day, and it's not really a car, we're going to need black concrete, stone, boat, stone button if you want, cobblestone stairs, and green terracotta. You're probably thinking, now what am I making? Well, you'll see. This can get a be get to be a bulky build, so we might have to be a little bit more careful here with our placement. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build with our cobblestone stairs, and we're going to place one cobblestone stair facing backward. We're going to place another cobblestone stair facing the same direction and then we're going to place two upside down cobblestone stairs and then we are going to place more upside down cobblestone stairs until we reach a good distance of like one two three four five you might want to put like five upside down cobblestone stairs we can then take our slab and build over top of a few of them like this and then we're going to take our green terracotta build out like this and sort of fill in that gap and then a little bit more outward we're then going to place a line of blocks kind of like that two blocks two blocks and this is where now where you can get a little bit creative if you really wanted to. Because I think it's kind of obvious what we're making. We're making a tank. So we could get a little bit creative and add like the army number and stuff and stuff like that. So we can get creative here. Next, we're going to place the barrel thing that... Ha, ha, shoots the bullet and we build out like this then take a black concrete and put it on the end then we can take some item frames and sort of work on the finer details of this now with the item frames we could place like things on the sides like army emblems or or we could put the banner or like American flag banners or things that we can do that or number banners like to say the tank number and then 
we can always just like if it depends on how where your imagination takes you. If you wanted to say that army men mount the tank from the top, then you could put a hatch on. But this is how we build a tank, and this is a standard tank. But it's a good looking tank. But what I would do, and I highly recommend you doing this, is taking some smooth stone slab and get under here and fill in the in under side of this with the smooth stone slab except for the rim, the ones on the rim and it adds an extra layer of support to our um caterpillar traps or whatever 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 these things are called and then if you wanted to you could reverse how the tracks are like it depends on what you like best. The tracks are different. I prefer how I built it the first time. But what you could do is something like this. We take our cobblestone slab and build on top like that. Um, It, it really just depends on what you prefer. But it's important that you use those because those are the only two ways we can make tr tire tracks. Dot, not tire tracks, um, like the caterpillar tracks or whatever they're called in Minecraft. So it's in incredibly important that you do that. So, without further ado, without further ado, I have to conclude this episode. So, really hope you guys enjoyed building all these cars and the tank with me and the motorbike. And... Just hope that you like, leave a like, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Without further ado again, Fricky, out.